When people doubt their current relationships, is it because of past issues? Hi, my name is Martha. I'm a clinical sexologist with a doctorate in human sexuality. I'm also a relationship coach, and you can find me at erscoaching.com. So this is my answer about um, uh, having doubt in your current relationships. So you have doubt because of your past experiences. And we talk about issues. We don't just talk about past relationships. It can be issues that you picked up from your family of origin. Uh, from hearsay like friends, relatives, their, their own sob story, bad stories, your friends, your culture, your religion, your school, your uh, workplace, so on and so forth. And uh, most of the time when people have uh, issues that affect, that, affect them, uh, it's because they doubt themselves. Um, and the doubt uh, comes from a fear of getting hurt and their inability to deal with it if it comes up. And uh, so this uh, phrase uh, comes to mind. Uh, what you think you become, what you feel you attract, what you imagine you create. So what this means is whatever you focus on, uh, it starts to take on a life of its own, whether good or bad. Um, there are people who believe in this whole law of attraction. And uh, un unfortunately, in the law of attraction, you can't just think about what you want. You have to really do as well. And uh, so there are lots of like people who dream, but they are not willing to go through the a hardship or the discipline of actually getting it done. However, there are people who keep thinking and thinking and thinking, then it becomes their reality. You know how there are people who talk about things as if it's a fact, uh, even though um, they have no uh, evidence whatsoever. Um, uh, so they may have had like one experience and then it's like, oh uh, yeah, you know, uh, men are like this or women are like this. And um, that doesn't, um, that's just a generalization based on like a few specific episodes. So uh, this phrase, uh, uh, you think and then you become, you become that person. You, you have, you were hurt before and then you think I, I, I'm um, a, a recipe for disaster when it comes to love. Guess what? You take on that identity and then uh, you may find yourself actually behaving in ways you don't even realize you are actually sabotaging the relationship. Uh, what you feel you attract, if you put out like really like negative vibes, negative energy, then people will react to you in that way. So it's important as much as possible to be as positive as we can be at any given moment. And what you imagine you create. Um, and sometimes what happens is we, we don't have a frame of reference. And so it's hard for us to imagine certain things that is possible. So for instance, like um, being able to see how other people live. Um, I do quite a, a number of house sitting. And when I get to see how other people live, it allows me to dream about the kind of uh, house that I want to live in and the kind of uh, future that I want to create for myself. However, if I don't have that frame of reference, sometimes it's hard to lock it into my body that there are people who live like that and it's possible to live like that. So imagination filled with some reality sometimes really supports us in our dream in making that um, belief that it is possible to create a reality. So just to kind of wrap things up, I feel like we need to let go of our baggage as much as possible and to realize that actually uh, we are not the exception. We will get our hearts broken we, and uh, we need to be okay with that as well. We need to know that we might get our heart broken and even if my heart is broken, I'm old enough, I'm strong enough, I'm mature enough, I have the skills to put it back together again and that I will... I will, I will put this into my value system that love is important and that I will um, never want to give up on love. And um, that's the only way I feel when you are fearless that you can be truly open to love and to be able to love unconditionally. So these are my thoughts about this. Uh, what do you think? So post your comments below and also your questions. And you can all, also contact me at ask at arrowscoaching.com.